Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel. Today we are going to create a drawing sheet from this 3D part in GW3D 2022. And you can get this uh, 3D objects by downloading in a description or you can see the last video tutorial to create this uh, simple 3D part. Okay, first you can click files and we create a new drawing sheet. You can click here new and choose the drawing sheet. The next you can choose for template i will use a4 with the verticals and you can click ok it will be go into driving sheet uh, interface the next uh, to attach part into this uh, sheet you can click layout and you can click here layout uh, tools and you can choose for projection like we can use for uh, these two projection get okay, top and right the next uh, you can also can set for uh, styles, you can use wireframe, use for wireframes, or it is default hidden lines, or use uh, this option shape, this for shape. In here, we can use uh, this option for hidden, and you can click OK to apply. The next, we can uh, move this object by clicking this uh, yellow box, okay, like I will move into here. And now, to apply dimension, you can go into dimension tools. We can set with uh, this uh, dimension and you can click from this point into here and move to the bottom here. The next, I will edit this dimension so you can click tools and go into dimension. You can set for linear in here, I will set precision into zero, this also into zero, and for scale factor into 0 0.5. Also in angular, you can set into zero scale factor 0 0.5 the next for radials you can set into 0 and scale factor 0 0.5 you can click apply and you can click ok so it will be automatically update okay you also can uh, create again dimension okay by clicking at uh, this cube move into here this for radius click in here and you want to change uh, into uh, diameter you can click this option change into diameter or you see the option to radius or radius okay you can click again from this point into here very easy to attach dimension in gw3d and change for radius or another option okay dimension we got uh, this edge sorry and uh, this edge move into here you also can apply at uh, this point Click up from this point to here. Okay. You also can use for automatic dimension by clicking at this drop down menu and use a automatic dimension. The next for view, we can select uh, this view. Okay. And you can choose for include arch or another option, origin. Okay. For horizontal, this for horizontals by clicking at this point or you can active for vertical in here by clicking at this point this for automatically dimension in gw3d you can click and you can click ok to apply now you can edit for dimension by moving like this okay you also can move again at uh, this point it's very easy to editing the dimension okay like we can move again into this point this for automatically dimension tools you also can apply at uh, these uh, objects this automatic dimension select yellow box and now active all dimension okay this for vertical and another dimension and you can click ok now by clicking in here hold move to edit click again at this point hold move and edit to this dimension okay move again to here if you want to delete you only select and press delete button to delete the next, uh, you also can edit for border by double click on uh, this menu. It will be go into border editing that like you can edit in here. Then like you can add more lines or another objects into this border. If you done, you can click exit to apply. To change uh, this data block, you can double click in a uh, data block menu. And uh, for example, we can add text into here, like use uh, this option. And I will click at this point. You can set for size into six. In here for text, I will type on Mufasuke. 
and we can change font in here we can use simplex roman is for simplex roman or another fonts in here you can see there are a lot of font that you can use in uh, for a title block okay like uh, bonomi black or another fonts that you can use for Toma, this for Toma. and if you then you can click apply the next you can click hold to move uh, this text uh, objects click at this point and you can click exit if you then so it will be automatically updated in a uh, title block to print out uh, these uh, objects you can go to files click uh, print out plot you can set a uh, printer out plot name in here next we can set for size into a4 and use a portrait this for verticals you can check for center points the next uh, we use a current sheet and you can click preview so this for preview and to print out you can click this icon to print okay enough today for uh, gwtd 2022 how to create a driving sheet if you have any question about this uh, tutorials you can comment below this video